Hi, my name is Tristan Pope, and I'm the director of Romance in New York City, the short film shot entirely on the iPhone 6. For Valentine's Day, we wanted to bring you something special, an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the filming of Romance in New York City. So what we found as we were shooting this film is that the process of shooting on an iPhone was actually just as intriguing as the actual film. The reason that the iPhone was such a great tool for this film in particular was because it allowed us to get really up close and personal with the actor and to get this intimate feel that you would normally not get if there was a big camera lens or lots of lights around you. And it almost created our own film bubble. This exponentially developed the relationship between myself as the boyfriend and the character uh, that Rachel McOwens played as the girlfriend. We were sitting at a little table and it was just me and the actress and nobody around us even knew we were filming. They just thought we were some crazy couple in love shooting some home videos on our iPhone. Uh, in turn, it turned out that we were actually shooting a short film. The iPhone has its limitations, but the limitations themselves help to spur creativity. But at the same time, you're not lugging around a ton of equipment, having a ton of lighting, and a huge crew just to make it all work. So it allowed us to have a creative freedom that normally you might not be able to have. One of the cooler tools that uh, ended up surprising us was the Gorillapod. So we took two of the legs of the Gorillapod and we placed them on my temples and then it gave me one to hold it steady. This allowed me to turn left and to turn right and it gave it a very natural feel to how it was looking. So right off the bat we knew that we were a little bit limited because as the director and the boyfriend, I had to hold the camera, so I was always limited to one hand. We had one of our assistants hiding behind the corner so when I walked into the door, she quickly could grab the door and stop it from, you know, smashing me in the face, which was very much appreciated. Thank you, Natalie. We ended up coming up with a couple ways where we could actually integrate two hands. So in one scene, I had my production assistant, very talented, uh, Natalie Johnson, and she, you know, clinged on to me, held the camera over my head, and allowed it so that I could move and turn with her and so it looked like the perspective of the boyfriend still, but I had access to both my hands. And you'll see that when, you know, the girlfriend is laying on me and we're ho both holding hands. You just kiss the two hands that are together? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Do you like the lipstick on your hand? I like lipstick on my hand. It helps moisturize. It adds color. Do you see both hands? You can see both hands. Oh my God, we can see both hands. I think it's really great. You're gonna have to tell me afterwards. The sooner we were able to integrate the actual feel of two hands versus one, it was quicker for the audience, I believe, to actually feel as though they could believe what they were seeing as the perspective. How do you show, from the first person perspective, a kiss? You would think that would be really simple, but because you're not seeing both people, it's actually rather difficult. We ended up trying a bunch of different things where we would, you know, push the camera in close and then pull it away, but what you don't realize is that when you're going to kiss, you actually are slowing yourself down before you meet the lips so you don't bang teeth. And so when you're holding the camera, you slowly push it in and then kind of ease it in. You have the actress purse her lips and then you pull out slowly with a little bit of an ease out and you have her unpurse and on camera that looks like a kiss. Now then in post we added 
actual eyelids closing a little bit because when you go to kiss someone, you close your eyes. Something that I really liked about filming romance in New York City was the, the fact that there was so much improvisation. Um, we had a script, we had a layout, we had all of the things that you needed, but the script was basically locations, feelings, thoughts, and moments that we, we all as a team came together and wrote down as moments we enjoyed in past relationships, moments we enjoyed in our current relationships. And then we ended up going to these locations and just seeing what would happen. And I think the best shots we got were the ones where we were completely exhausted. We had zero hours of sleep. We had been going for days. It was just this natural interaction between friends. And isn't that what a relationship is, is two friends being comfortable with each other in whatever environment you are? The benefit of there not being any dialogue in the film allowed us to actually be more playful. And one of the funnier moments was when Rachel McOwen, and the girlfriend had to uh, crawl into my lap and lay on my chest. And as she's doing that, she's saying, Oh my gosh, I forgot I had to pretend like I like you. Yeah, you oh do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this too close to my face? I think is it is, yeah. I think you need to face? cut a little lower to me. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, I start laughing and the camera gets a little bit of motion. And it was very natural looking. The limitations of shooting on a mobile device turned out to be a huge advantage. It allowed us to maintain the suspension of disbelief during post and with some truly interesting and unique cutting sequences. We were able to maintain a more experimental approach with our story, but still allowing us to bring the viewer on a beautiful journey through the day we now call Romance in New York. Well, improvisational, improvisational, that's it. Wow. The improv, improv, ha, ha, Wow, I can't say the word. Very improvis, improv, f <laughs> <laughs> I can't say the word. <laughs>